All right, let's talk about polymethyl methacrylate, PMMA. What is it? What do we use it for? This structure is different than the ones we've seen before. It still has a carbon backbone, right? It's got those carbons, but this is a methyl group, right? That's a CH3 right there. Whereas this, you've got a C double bonded to an O, to an O over here, and then that's a CH3. So this is more complicated, right? And some of the ones we've seen. Why do we care about this? Its trade name is acrylic glass, and you've probably worked with it before. Acrylic glass is great. It is a lightweight, shatter-resistant alternative to glass. Now, not everything's perfect. It's not a perfect replacement for glass. For one thing, it's much more easily scratched, um, although we can modify it to prevent scratching. And if it does get scratched, we can heat treat it to pretty easily remove those scratches. One big advantage it has over glass is obviously cost, but it's also very low density. It has about half the density of soda lime glass, which your windows and your home are probably made of, right? Um, it's also a good alternative uh, if you don't want to use polycarbonate. If extreme strength isn't necessary, it's lower cost. It doesn't contain things like the bisphenol A subunits, which are have health implications, which you don't, and those are present in polycarbonate. It's much easier to laser cut. Although heads up, if you do laser cut acrylic glass you do need to anneal it afterwards. Otherwise, you end up with crazing, right? Stress from the, the difference in the thermal stresses that causes stresses and that causes crazing like you can see in this glass. That's an example of uh, stress crazing. Um, where was this initially invented? Again, it was a pre-World War II. They sort of made it, didn't know what it was good for. And then when World War II broke out, they realized, hey, these are more effective than glass windshields in airplanes because when they shattered, it was less likely to get in the eyes of the pilot because it breaks into big dull chunks instead of lots of small pieces. Um, that's still a reason why we use acrylic glass today. Um, so in the Monterey Aquarium, if you've been there, these are actually acrylic glasses to withstand the huge pressure of that water against them. Um, pretty cool material. I like it because I did this cool uh, Halloween project for my kid. Take a look at this. Here's a shield from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that I was able to make out of acrylic. You could cut this really easy. I cut this on a bandsaw. I tried doing that with glass, right? It would shatter really easily, but this is very shatter resistant. I could drill little holes in it to embed those LEDs, um, and then I could color it with, you know, a very, there's lots of different ways to color acrylic glass. So that's an advantage that it has over working with regular glass, and it's light enough for my kid to carry it, no problem.